Hey everyone, how's it going? Warning, spoilers. Okay. I've just come back from the mo watching the movie, and I have to say, I really liked it. Um, the story is simple. Basically, um, you know, it opens with a village being attacked by the Nazi science division Hydra, led by um, a man named Johan, better known as Red Skull. Um, we're looking for an artifact which um, gives them great power, and that is the Cosmic Cube. Uh, Red Skull's planning to basically use it to take over the world. Um, while that's happening, um, Steve Rogers um, tries to, you know, become a soldier. He's trying to sign up to different towns all over the place, you know, but they all reject him, and, you know, he's just feeling horrible about this. Like, you know, he keeps trying and trying, but he keeps failing. Uh, but eventually, while at the Stark Expo, um, he meets a scientist who is head of a super soldier program and believes that he is the um, great choice. So, uh, you know, while going through times of training, you know, um, he eventually is chosen to be the one to become the super soldier. Um, obviously, you know, the uh, process is a success. He becomes Captain America, but the professor dies and... Um, one of the Nazis show up and try to steal um, uh, one part, one last uh, vial of super soldier serum. Um, Steve stops him, um, but the uh, vial had been destroyed. And the guy kills himself before they can even try to um, interrogate him. Um, eventually, you know, um, Steve is becoming, is getting advertised as, you know, the mascot for uh, soldiers everywhere. Um, as Captain America, he's wearing his, you know, his, a regular Captain America outfit, you know, you can get at a Halloween store. Um, you know, he's doing plays for people, like, you know, just, for, like, for kids. Um, but, you know, he really still yearns to actually be a soldier and fight, um, alongside the others. And he finally gets a chance when he hears news that his friend Bucky, um, who in the comics is actually a sidekick, has gotten captured by Hydra. Um... So he goes there, um, we're introduced to, uh, the Howling Commandos, like Dum Dum Dugan, um, Gabriel Jones, and all the others. Everyone except Nick Fury, but for obvious reasons. Um, so, yeah, Cap, um, you know, saves them, not, and then, uh, well, and then encounters Red Skull, who is, you know, full-blown Red Skull, you know, uh, they have a fight for a bit, um, you know, Red Skull escapes, um, and uh, that's all I'm going to leave it to. Um, because the rest of the movie is just great. I don't want to spoil anything else for people. Um, like, you know, it was really good. The actors did a great job playing their characters. Um, you know, like, I really had fun watching this movie. There are flaws, obviously. Like, you know, there's some cheesy lines. There's um, some stupid cliches. But I really did enjoy it besides that. Um, there's also obviously tie-ins to other movies like Iron Man 2 with Tony Stark's father uh, being there and Thor with, um, with the Cosmic Cube originally belonging to Odin. Um, and we actually see a shot of uh, the all-powerful tree that bridges um, you know the world together like you know Midgar, Asgard, Niflheim, you know all those worlds. Uh, we like see uh, like a shot of that tree um, near the end of the movie. Um, yeah, you know, I just really enjoyed it. One of my favorite scenes has to be the montage in the movie where, um, the a giant montage of Captain America, you know, um, you know, destroying all the Hydra bases, um, and, you know, Red Skull being all ticked off about it. Kind of made me think of, uh, kind of reminded me, like, of TV shows that would do this, and, um, like, in a TV show kind of way. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed this film. Um, like, if you're a Captain America film, check this movie out. And if you're a fan to, who wants to watch more Bill of the Avengers movie, you really, really have to check this one out. Because there are some little tie-ins, and it explains a few things, like how did Nick Fury get the Cosmic Cube. And uh, how the cube actually works in some ways. Oh, yeah. And before I go, yeah, stick for the end credits. Because in the end credits, you see the Avengers trailer. And all I can say about this trailer is that it is the best trailer ever. I've never seen a trailer this great, okay? The Avengers trailer kicks ass, okay? Like, I can't wait for this movie, and sadly, um, you know, this movie won't be coming out until May, 
2012. So, you know, I have to wait 10 months or 11 months if, you know, um, if you guys want to count this month. But whatever, this movie's going to take um, so long to do, and I really can't wait for the Avengers movie. Um, so, that's one uh, other movie I can't wait to see next to, um, you know, the Dark Knight Rises movie. Um, I know some people are going to say, well, what about, you know, The Amazing Spider-Man? Well, I'll talk about that, um, that movie later. But I really enjoy this movie, and I really enjoyed the Avengers trailer, okay? Um, like, check this movie out. It's, uh, it's a really fun movie to watch. Um, that's all I gotta say. Uh, rate and comment. See you later.